A lot of people thought a South Sequoia League championship might be decided tonight in the very first game of the league schedule. How'd it go? Let's go to the highlights. Austin Beneducci and the rest of the Wasco football team leaders welcoming Bakersfield Christian to Tiger Stadium. Not quite a warm welcome, though, from the Tigers. First play from scrimmage, Gabriel Cavazuela just pops out of the backfield, turns on the Jets, takes off running for the end zone, but Zach Belfans denies it. Wasco in the red zone, however. Cavazuela gets the football again, but this time when he's taken down, football coughed up. Bakersfield Christian recovers its eagle football. On the ensuing drive now, Brandon Jones hands off to the big back, Matt Smith. Kid gets a stiff arm, then takes off downfield, says, look, y'all might be a little faster than me, but get out of my way, get out of my way. Smith backflips into the end zone. And it's a touchdown, seven to nothing Eagles. Castillo for Wasco, fires downfield to Deontay Henderson on third down, but it's dropped. Three and out for both teams, but for the Eagles, it's Nathan DeJager range. Field goal good, 10 nothing BCHS. Still in the first quarter, Gabriel Cabezuela cut in the backfield, goes through a big hole made by his offensive line, comes around, strafes through for the touchdown. 10 to seven Bakersfield Christian. This girl says Cabezuela can stay. Doesn't have to get out. Second quarter now, Brandon Jones, pump fake, goes long to Zach Bell fans, hits him in stride, touchdown Eagles 17 7. But quick as a flash, Deontay Henderson breaks through, gets upfield for the Tigers to make it just a three point game once more. Still in the second quarter, Matt Smith takes a handoff and a beating. One, two, three, he goes down. And the Eagles are up 10 points again, but they're down a running back. Smith dislocated his shoulder, and this is what your face would look like, folks, if you had your right shoulder relocated. I feel for you, Matt. Cabezuela around the edge for Wasco. He's brought down, but, but that puts the Tiger back at over 1,000 yards for the season already. Why not give it to Mr. 1,000 again? Cabezuela, quick cut here. And he's off. BCHS lead is now just 24 to 21. There's Mr. 1000 himself trying to make up those three points in a hurry. Right before the half, don't take your eyes off this one. Jones completes Adrico Oliver, who's all alone. But the big man says, look, I don't need bloggers when I'm almost twice everybody's size and I've got a great stiff arm. Oliver gives Matt Smith's run in the first quarter a run for its money. Puts the Eagles on top by 10 again. We got to make plays. Defensively, we got to make plays, and on our special teams, we have to make plays. Tonight, we didn't have any game changers, and that was a difference tonight. A lot of people seem to doubt us because we've lost and lost, and and uh, uh, for us to come out and do what we did tonight, I think just shows what type of heart our kids have. They've continued to get better each and every week. All of our hard work has finally paid off, and that um, just our preparation this week was phenomenal, and it shows when we prepare right, and um, we can play with anybody in the nation. So that's what we showed tonight. Now. It's it's amazing feeling. It's an amazing feeling. 66-35, a big win for Bakersfield Christian. A lot of big plays in that, too. A big win and possibly a South Sequoia League championship in the process. Well, Brandon Jones, you heard him say it was an amazing feeling. For his running back, Matt Smith, not so much. A dislocated right shoulder. I talked to Matt after the game. He's actually dislocated his left shoulder before. He's going to have an MRI on Monday. Stay tuned for that. Uh, but he says probably not going to be in the matchup next week against Kennedy, possibly the week after that.